Hi, Sam Tobin, Sound of Joy Music Services, and we're going to be giving you a um, top 10 most popular gospel songs uh, that I have searched for. I did a search on uh, CHAP GPT. I wanted to know what are the most 10 most popular or recognizable gospel songs, and this is the list that uh, a computer rise search engine came up with so we're going to run through some of these songs in a few keys to give you an idea how these songs maybe became popular or the most chosen by uh, according to the software the most chosen or popular ever first on the list is amazing grace now everyone plays amazing grace to their liking uh, the hymn book version of course is very basic <laughs> Very basic scales. Very basic, but gospel musicians use the influences of jazz to be able to bring out the song a little bit more openly. Number one, um, most popular song according to Chap GPT. Oh Happy Day is a standard breaker. It broke out of the standard of a hymn song and a gospel song and brought in that contemporary song, uh, that put, put on that contemporary sound. And had that nice bass bottom. basic with a nice little rhythm to it So yes, Old Happy Day was a groundbreaking uh, song introducing the contemporary gospel style to gospel music. So it has ranked number two. The next song is His Eyes on a Sparrow, which is a noted hymn that will be sung by a lot of singers. Uh, if you had the hymn book open, it would show you to you, I believe, in the key of D flat. Classical.
I sing. four what a friend we have in Jesus now everyone has their own version of this song and I have my own way of walking through what a friend we have in Jesus it's generally done in the key of F but I'm gonna take it to E flat just to show you where you can place these iconic songs in what I call congregational friendly keys key of E flat Playing the scales will find you the first note. friend we have in Jesus. Now, Gold Teller on the Mountain also made this list. Gold Teller on the Mountain can be done in either G, G flat, or F. I prefer to put it up in G flat, F sharp, for those who like the, the, the F sharp name, because I find I can jump around a specific set of chording that matches what the melody is doing. Again, the scale is always important so that you can understand where the melody is going to be located. Look at the notes. So once I've found my scales, I can throw my chords right there. Mountain number four, number, excuse me, number five, number six, How Great Thou Art, key of B flat. Again, the scales always help me to find what my notes are in the actual melody. Oh Lord, and I just 
break my cord, oh Lord. And of course, the gospel musicians love that, that rolling bass. Jazz turn around. Walk it up. Great Lord, number six. The next is number seven. Sweet low, sweet swing low. That is sweet chariot. Now that is a spiritual. Um, let's take that to where have we not been? Go to key. Well, we've been to G already. We've been to E flat. We've been to D flat. Let's see if we can pitch this in a different key, just to give you some some nuances of how scales help you to find these songs. Go to D major. There it is. Swing low, sweet chariot, come and forth to carry me home. Sweet low, sweet chariot, diminish, minor. Spirituals. Change key. I'm trying to keep the integrity of the song. Next on the list is Great is Thy Faithfulness, and we're in the key of E flat already. That is the key where Great is Thy Faithfulness resides. Thou changes 
not by compassion they fail not Diminished. Turn around. A little off kilter. Music allows you to do a lot with it. Number nine, the old rugged cross, done in B flat. But let's move it to A flat. I don't think we we haven't been to A flat yet. Again, scale practice is always important so that you can hear where all your notes are and to limber up your fingers. That was number nine and number ten. Just a closer walk with the, and that's done in the key of B flat. And that's done with like a stride type, or um, I won't say big band sound, but it drops into a bunch of chords which you won't find in your basic hymns, but it has a way of having a real soothing sound.
right, and that takes you to our 10 most popular gospel songs. Thanks for watching. Sam Tobit, Sound of Joy Music Services. See you soon.